You're probably wondering why I have a million towels at my door. That's why. This is that day. It's warm. I'm in short sleeves. Pretty stoked about that, but even better. Let me show you guys. And, and this is, I like getting my hands dirty. I always have. I guess um, gardening, farming is in my blood a little. Look at this. This is curly parsley and it has stayed. And it came up all on its own. So I've got holdovers and I'm really excited about that because it's warm enough. I obviously can't do any digging, but I'm going to do some, some remodeling out here in the garden this year. I was very successful in container gardening, but I think what I want to do this year is I want to actually have one huge raised bed and, um, I want to have it probably about two to three feet off the ground boxed in so that I don't have to worry about as much like my cucumbers and squash and viney things because a lot of the times they like to live on the ground and they don't care if there's dogs around. I mean, they're pretty hardy and we don't have very tough winters here. In fact, this is cilantro and it has survived. So I'm really stoked about that. And this is German oregano and some of it has survived as well. What do you think? Molly's my constant gardener. She loves being out here sniffing all the plants. She's the one true gardener that I have. Of course, the mint will survive because that's pretty much an invasive plant and the sage is running wild. So I've got sage, I've got mint, I think. I've got some Italian flat parsley. That has survived. And, and, and my rosemary, which is usually hardy anyways. They'll survive even in the northern states as long as it's not a ridiculous hard freeze. Good morning, fish heads. Jen Crevasse here at Jekyll Bates. It's Monday morning. Got a few things I want to show you, and I want to add a quick tips and tricks. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking me specifically on how I deal with these little guys, keeping that clear coat from pooling in the cup in the, in the lip of this popper. So we're going to get into that in just a few minutes, but first I want to show you a couple of pieces starting with this guy this is on a strike king what's that kvd and these are in 1.5s 1.0s and 2.5s uh, currently have orders going out for where are they for those down there as well um, john over at jetson provided the eyes for these and it's just a great all-around good spring pattern so wanted to show you that uh, real quick. I think I featured this fat boy already, but to be honest, I can't remember because they're all kind of blurring together, but that's the Norman fat boy. And matter of fact, I'm pretty certain that I did. These down here have not been featured yet. And we're going to start with finishing off what I always tell you that I'm going to do. This is the clear coated version, all finished, all set up and hooks are on dressings there. Um, ready to go this is shipping out this morning this s waiver 168 and a snakehead pattern so that was your uh, your late last week's um spray session we're going to get another one out this week this is that imperial crawl in white classic red eyes we've got a showstopper this morning on that wide lip And we've got a couple of fat bellies. Nice little thread fin. Good dimension on this. All with mesh. And the Allenker Red Discus. Also going out this morning. Most of this stuff is going out this morning, in fact. Toxic Zombie. Also on the S with those flow glow yellow eyes.
There we go. And a very cool, now look at the transition in the mesh on this and the veining from that deep purple down to that Maui blue. Really digging this pattern. Probably going to build myself one and throw it when these guys start to breed. Decent shading on the gill plates. And I've seen these blanks a couple of different... I know Daniel's got them right now. Uh, Karakaburu, I think I didn't slaughter your name, Daniel. Um, but I know he's got a few. And I think that I've seen them either at Alternative Lures or Backwater Outfitters. But this is half an ounce dressed just under before it's dressed. Just a killer, killer spring pattern. Whoa! If I can keep it in my hand. And there you have it. Well, let's talk about this popper. There's two of them. They're both going out this morning. One to one order, one to another. And there's no pooling there. The drip wire came off real easy. And this is that spring peeper. American bullfrog. These eyes are li linked in the description below. So let's talk about how we do that. You guys have asked me lots of questions about these little guys lately. So this is a popper, it's a three inch, it's got that cupped lip on it. And you guys are asking me how to get that pool out of there. So it's not that hard. The biggest tip that I can give you is to make sure that you have this wire attached tightly so that you can actually do this with it don't hang it loose crimp it to where you have a little bit of room to move it and here's what we're going to do i'm going to dip this in i know i'm pretty low in here but yes it does pull but then you can actually move that over and just let this hang off the edge. Just completely dip it. Pull it back out slow. And as it comes up, if you have a tight crimp on here, just drain all that stuff off while it's still in the jar. You also have to make sure you have a wide enough lip jar. I like pickle jars for stuff like this. The um, There's others that are taller and skinnier. But this seems to work really, really well for poppers. And there you have it. All that stuff is not going to pull because it's gone. So that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen, my fellow fish heads. That is how you do it. Um, it comes out pretty clean every single time. You can see that there's no buildup in there. And it's just pretty much just angling this with a very tight drip wire that you can actually move around. And that's it. That's how I do it. Um, not rocket science. You guys can figure that out. I know you can. I have faith in you. That's going to do it for me this morning. I hope you guys have had a pleasurable time watching this video smash that thumbs up button for me, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you on the next one. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.